Hey everyone, today we are talking about layers and how to get the feathered look. So definitely watch today's video. What's going on YouTube? Steven, a salon guy here. And in today's video, we're talking about layers and the feathered look and how to actually achieve it. When you see this, you see a beautiful flow of hair that just seamlessly connects together and has that really nice connection. Why is that happening? Well, for a few reasons. Because one, it's layered, okay? Layered means that the hair is cut to remove excess weight and it has a nice transition going from shorter all the way in through here. Also, layering means that you hold the hair straight out from the head like this and you're cutting horizontally, you're cutting vertically, but what you're doing is you're removing shape or layers from the hair or removing weight that allows it to have that free flow. Really, um, when the hair is very, very heavy, it's not gonna look like this. It's gonna all basically weigh itself down and almost look like this coming all the way down here. But because the hair has the uh, layering in it, which is an actual hair cutting technique, that is how you get that beautiful flow uh, going in throughout the haircut. So a lot of times people see this and they go, I wish my hair could look like this. Your hair's not gonna look like this if this very, very top piece here comes all the way down to here because it's just gonna weigh it down and it's not gonna create that movement. So in order to have that flow, in order to have that feather type look, you need to have your hair layered. Here's another example on a longer uh, haired mannequin. This is probably like a medium length layered haircut for men. Also, this could be worn for women as well. But as you see, all of this flow right in through here, these pieces, these individual pieces and strands are all part of a layering process. So if you're getting your hair cut and you're not seeing your stylist, you know, or your barber holding the hair straight out from the head and following the head shape, then that means it's not gonna be properly layered at all. If this is brought all the way down to here and it's one length, it's just simply gonna make your hair way down and it's not gonna have any movement. So even on longer styles like this, you, ha you actually have to have um, some layers for it to flow back and remove some of that weight. Movement comes from layers. It's very, very important to understand that, which means to simplify it, hair being pulled out from the head and being cut. Obviously it has to be cut a specific way because you can actually build weight by creating graduation, which means that you're actually reversing it and you're creating a rounded shape or whatever type of shape and you're building weight on top of this. Whereas layering this way, it's removing it. Lastly, this is a somewhat very popular type of haircut, uh, you know, kind of a 90s inspired haircut where the hair kind of can flow over this way, you know, a bit longer in the front. Even if you want that flow, like this, you wanna sweep your hair over, all of this has to be layered. Now, can you achieve a, you know, a nice sweep all the way over without any layering? You can, but the problem is the hair is gonna weigh itself down and it's gonna constantly keep falling in your face. So by having it cut in a certain way or removing the weight, that will allow it to flow better. And if we were gonna kind of part this somewhere down the middle or part it uh, like this, a center parting, then as you can see, because it's layered, it has that flow. So I just wanna help you guys understand how to achieve that feathered or layered look for men's hair and women's hair. All right, YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified of when my videos go live three times a week. Let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful, or if you have any sort of hair challenges or things that you need videos on when it comes to hair tips. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.